I'm good with working with kids, but I hate them. I know you're not supposed to say that. This is so eerie, the last He looks so serious. Ring. It's a regular real oh, one. Hey, hey, hey. of a mess. It's just giving dirty right now. I'm so confused. Yo, the last time I wore these pants, they weren't that tight. That lets you know though. What's up everyone? It's A back on your screen and another one. Hope you're well. As you could tell, I spent the day hanging out with David, which was really good. I haven't seen him in a bit. And that was also the first time this year that I went out somewhere. We're finding out a lockdown. We've been out of lockdown for a little over a week. But still, it's kind of crazy because your girl used to go out once a week and I haven't been out since December. I would even say mid-December. It definitely felt different being out. I really savored the moment and of course the company because that's one of my closest friends. So now I need to see about dinner. I don't know if I should have pasta, chow mein, make pepper shrimp. Is my chicken hot enough yet? I'm in such a weird mood and I also got to edit my vlog too so that it's up in time by tomorrow. I want to post another TikTok because I was thinking about doing one every day for Black History Month, not related to Black History Month. And then one of my friends who's also into being an entrepreneur and promoting their own brand said, that's not the best game plan. That's the best way to get burnt out. So I got some things to sort out and figure out, but I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. In all honesty, everything I'm going to do tonight is super boring. So I'll check in with you guys in the Oh my gosh, I forgot how much this shirt is so nice. I'm sorry, but this is not working. I had ideas of melting the wax and then remaking it again. Mm, no, let's just be honest. I have time, but I don't have that much time. Morning loves, I've not had a matcha moment in a minute. I can't even remember the last time I had matcha. Wrong matcha cup. Matcha cup. I think I had matcha last on Thursday or Friday, and it is now Monday, so I'm treating myself. I wanted to give myself a break from it for a few days to see if it would help with whatever's going on in my guts, but it didn't, which is a good thing because I would hate to have to give up matcha. So today, I'm gonna treat myself to a cream of Earl Grey matcha. This one is so good because it's got a little bit of bergamot in it and it's like a vanilla undertone. Mm, so, so amazing. Someone told me to label them. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Every time. What? And I thought, what would be the point? I wouldn't be able to read the labels anyways unless they were billboard size. You know, if I was super lazy, I would just put these right into the milk frother. That is the easiest way to make a matcha. Why are they so big? No strawberry should ever be this big. This one's squishy, so you got to go. You know bananas, once they start to ripen, they alert the other bananas to ripen. I don't know what in the CIA that is. I watched the first episode of Ozark though. Why are they breaking this into two parts? That is the worst kind of torture ever. If you ask me, the three best shows in the last three years are Ozark, Atlanta, and Insecure, although the ending of Insecure really lost me. What are your top three shows? Ozark though, I'm not gonna say anything because if you haven't watched it, I don't wanna be the one to ruin it for you. All you need to know is that show is insane in the membrane. Insane in the membrane. Wait, I was supposed to be renting these. I say? This is probably why the years fly by because I get caught up doing three things at once when I could have just done one thing in that time properly, one and done. Urban Outfitters Home literally has the best things. I got this triple set from there. There's so many things in my house that I got from there that you would never believe because who thinks of Urban Outfitters for home stuff, but don't sleep on them. Whoa, where's the cap? Okay, here we are. Since I'm listing off a lot of threes today, my three favorite home stores to shop at are Anthropology, Urban Outfitters, and oh my gosh, can I say four? Because I was going to say a tie between West Elm and Creating Bell. You want that bougie luxury life aesthetic? 
they got you guys not me trying to pod and then nearly having a heart attack when the fire alarm went off i forgot they're doing the drill today should i go out to the cafe I switched my outfit because i gotta wear shoes with grips and they don't go with the white outfit so i'm just gonna head to a cafe not sure if i'm gonna go to one far away or around the corner Probably around the corner makes more sense since it's almost three o'clock and you should really not have caffeine after noon, especially when you're having a hard time getting good quality sleep like me. But I'm gonna take all this, whoop, all this stuff and just, well, as if I haven't planned enough because you know I'm always steady planning. Well, let's go. Hopefully getting out of my house gets me out of my head too, because you know how that goes. Cabin fever is real, you know? Especially during these winter months. thing to do would make comfort food so we're gonna have some chicken soup which involves so much prep and now let me take off my bracelet for this you guys why is this so gross oh my gosh and the onions are making me cry this is all types of hazardous right now this better be the best chicken soup i've ever made Ew! Jules, yo, yo. First things first. My soup is good, but this show is better. So if he tells you anything different, he's a liar and a fucking snake. You're a greedy who just likes sucking the life out of people. And it hurts, Jules. This cannot be real. How is this happening in five minutes? She needs an award too. <laughs> that would be great because honestly, looking at you makes me physically- It is another day. We are now at what, almost 2.30. I need to get ready to go. I'm gonna meet Efi in a bit. But first, I was fixing the thumbnails of some of my site series. You guys need to check it out. And now I'm gonna quickly, super quickly, but efficiently edit one of my two pods to post it so that that's up. Cause I don't know how long I'm gonna hang out with Efi, but I don't want it to, I want my pod to be out at a certain time every Tuesday. So that's why I filmed them on Mondays, but I only filmed one of two. So I don't know if I'm gonna record the other one or just edit one. Cause I gotta make sure that my Patreon fam is covered. Oh PS, thank you to the new Patreons. I see you guys. Hope you got my messages. I sent you personal direct messages. So thank you for supporting. I really appreciate that you guys are here for the content and I hope you like, you got a lot to catch up on. I think we've been on Patreon for about a year, so there's a lot of entries on there. So I hope you guys enjoy. And of course, there are comment sections there to get the community vibe going. Was the last episode of Euphoria just a dream sequence? Because the things that happened, I don't even want to talk about. It was just too crazy. So let me just edit my Patreon pod. I gotta delete this one last week's pod Ooh, that's not what i was trying to do and i Ooh. hola hey it's <laughs> ify good time one-on-one -on -one with a good person now time for some good food but i'm also gonna cheat because i'm craving fries so i said why not not that these things go together but i want French fries, extra crispy spicy, that's the way to go. And then I have the soup I made yesterday heating up. I didn't tell him you have to take the scotch bonnet out before you put it into the, mm, and now it's smushed. 
pray for me because this is gonna be extra spicy. When I was coming home, I was like, oh man, I should have given some to Ify. The last time I made it, I gave it to Jeff and he liked it. But then he told me all these ways he would tweak it. And I was like, did you really like it though? But he cooks well, so you know. He was just letting me know how he would modify it. But I was like, you know, then it wouldn't be a Jamaican chicken dumpling soup. That for 20 minutes, soup should be done in another five. I need to drink. I should be drinking two of these a day at least. Not because I believe that you need to have that much a day. I think water intake depends on how much you're working out, your genetics, of course, your body size, and also where else you're getting water from. Cause you can get water from watermelon or from celery. Everything has a water activity. That's what it's called. You don't even want to see the amount of dog hair I had to clean out of this just a second ago. Oh, I'm going to do the laundry while I'm working out. And then hopefully by the time I'm done with my shower and cleaning up my house, I can take these out of the dryer. Then I want to go downtown to run an errand, but I have to call them to see first. I have to make three calls today just to get in. <laughs> Would film the stuff, but they're very similar in there. How is it almost noon? Why does my face feel so tight? Oh, that's right. I didn't put moisturizer on yet. I'm gonna do that just now. I've been trying to make a few phone calls, but no one's picking up. I need to get some things done. I haven't had a strawberry smoothie in a while. I kind of want, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have a strawberry smoothie. <gasps> Someone told me to label these and I was like, what would the point be? I wouldn't be able to see the labels unless they were a billboard size. So it's much easier to shake or smell. Shake because each tea, or in this case, protein powder, sounds different. Orange juice out of a glass container, for some reason, always tastes better. And run some errands. I filmed a TikTok, I just need to edit it. Guys, can I tell you a secret? I hate, TikTok. I hate it. But, you know, growing YouTuber, it's one of the most popular platforms. I gotta use it to promote what I'm trying to do on here. I realized there was a crack in it. I said, hmm, how did this happen? Have no idea how. Whoa. Why? This is life. Well then, well then, now that that's out of the way, let's see how this tastes. What was I trying to say? Oh, I broke one of my glassware, but I was thinking, you know what? I want to switch to more tall glasses anyway, so. It was one of these ones. Oh, never mind. It was one of, it was the other one of this, which is technically in a wine glass, but I like to drink water out of it. It's really, really, it's like a sweet tart. I'm so happy that strawberries were on sale last week. I haven't had strawberries in months because they've been so expensive. Do, 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 do. Hey, hey, the best part of my laundry, I might have said it before, but I'll say it again, is when you're done. Make sure my floor mat's good. These bamboo sheets, though, Issa was not lying. Budget. I should do Lux for less but, oh, underwear. One of the TikToks I should do is Lux for Lux, like my hacks and tips, or maybe I should make a YouTube video about that. Let me know. More. Sometimes I make my entire bed and then I fold everything and I'm putting away my socks. I'm like, why are my socks missing? They're in between the sheets. I always pull my sheets up this high, but someone said it's better to go down so you can tuck in perfectly. I tried it and it's actually amazing. But because the habit is strong, I still want to make it this way. Morning loves! It's that time of day again. Guess what's stinking? Because something in this fridge is not right. I discovered this, which is still edible, so I'm going to have it as part of my breakfast. It's just ripening real fast. I just completely forgot they existed. In there. Eggs are ripe. There's no open cartons or containers. The cheese is still good. Ginger doesn't really, ginger does go bad. I discovered that this year. Cause I was cutting a piece of ginger. I'm like, why is it like this? I don't know what it could be. <laughs> the day is half done. Isn't it so sad that I have to be this close to see what the time is? I remember once my friend came over and you could see the time from 
the corner of my apartment. I can't even see it from the corner of the oven. Had me tripping. Let's start from the back to the front. When Rue woke up in Lori's house, I said something happened that I don't want to know. That show is insane. I have not seen TV like that since Handmaid's Tale and Game of Thrones. Mind blown. I was going through my comments. Guys, why? I need answers from YouTube. How is it that this person commented, I bought this because of you. This is the video I posted yesterday, right? So when I click it to go respond, hello, YouTube, where is it? Because I feel bad. This person probably saw me using it in a vlog and then spent $7.10. I feel bad. But I can't even reply and ask her how it's working for her, if it works for her better than it did for me, if it's a waste of her money, if she's gonna return it within the 30 days. Nah, because for whatever reason, it doesn't link to the comment. And this is not the first time. There's so many times someone will say, I commented on your page. I might even see it pop up on here. But then when I go to my comment section, it's nowhere to be found here. I'm in one of the moods, so we're gonna cook. That's what we're gonna do. I was like, is it time to go to bed yet? I know a lot of you guys can relate. Some days you're just like, I wanna sleep. I had two matchas and a coffee and I still wanna sleep. But instead, I was so lazy I didn't even put on makeup today, I just realized that. Oh well, day's done. I'm going to make a healthy meal for dinner tonight and then I'm gonna have a conversation with my cousin and auntie. Hala. I'm looking forward to that. And what else, what else, what else? <sighs> Staring at that screen all day really got to me. Really, really got to me. I did a story time on Vegas, but I'm kind of like, do I really want to put that out in the ether? <laughs> a lot of you guys are enjoying the story times, but they're not really generating new subscribers. In every video I do in 2022, I want to bring new fresh energy and an audience with it. So <sighs> that's why you see me tweaking a lot of things. I froze all of my vegetables so that I would prevent food waste. But also, I'm not mad at the whole food prep bit, just the fact that it got freezer burned. It's probably because I'm always turning off the fridge so I can talk to you guys without it rumbling in the back. all the glasses the dollar store has i found this is the perfect mug for a tiktok that i wanted to do well i already did yesterday what a mess what a mess what a mess what a mess i'm sick in the head well i'm back i've been grocery shopping did i even show you that i think i just showed you when we were in the dollar store super random but they have so much glassware there and compared to the prices of crate and barrel hmm i might just go back i didn't get anything today even though that latte mug Mental note. Mental note, okay? Because I want to do a home organization video, so I need to make sure that I don't have more things if I'm trying to organize what I currently have. That would not be smart. Oh, water time. I am not nearly drinking enough water. I'm supposed to be having two of those a day. That is the first one I've had today. But let's have water in rare form. A lavender buttercream latte this is how the day is going cha yo the light is on because it's been gloomy all day rainy all day been staring at the screen all day anyway i'm so excited for this tea latte should i foam with the milk too yeah i'm gonna do it i have to make that cake i keep putting it off maybe because i'm not in a cake baking kind of mood but also it gives me something different to do it's a break from staring at the screen right this wasn't as aesthetic as I thought it'd be. <laughs> At least I tried though. Oh, ah! Yeah, that's not how it works, lady. And this towel keeps falling off the hook. Okay. I thought once the city reopened, it would give the city new life, but it still feels really dreary around here. The cost of living has gone up so much here. If you live in Toronto, you already know. But even at the faraway grocery store, no frills for those of you who know, that's what it's called. 
Their prices went up $5 for orange juice. I never thought I would see the day. because I'm using my AirPods. Let me know. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Whoa, I gotta do something with this hair. Should I curl it today? I haven't curled it in, not a whole year, but definitely it's been months. I can't remember the last time I did it. So maybe I will as this little Valentine's vibe we're trying to go with for this video today. So I'm gonna film a video on story times related to Valentine's Day. Not my own story times, because I don't go up for Valentine's Day because nine times out of 10, when I was working in retail and restaurants, I'd work in that day because it's one of the busiest days for both after Christmas time. In the restaurant, the only thing more annoying than Valentine's Day is Mother's Day brunch because all the people who don't care for their moms enough during the year try to do the most that day and it's so obvious, it really shows. I did like the candy of grams in middle school. I thought giving your friends lollipops with little messages was so cute. Acne medication seems to be working. The first three days I used it, you're supposed to use it every other day. I'm like, nope. Making it for lost time, I'm using it every single night. And it seems like my pimples went down, but that could also be because the medicine, medicine? <laughs> the medicine I was on, I finished. And that does cause acne, ironically. And then my cycle finished. So those are two things that could have cause my outburst. I'm gonna use it until my derm appointment in June. That's the earliest they could fit me in, June. Mind you, this was booked in January. Today's chit chat topic is this whole Danny Lay situation. I wasn't gonna talk about it because I don't really care, but because of how Joe Budden, who as you guys know, is one of my favorite podcasters, I'm about to take him off the top list. Rory and Mahler really gunning for it. But I also think I prefer the Receipts podcast above all else. And if you know, you know. If you don't, you should definitely give them a go. Joe Budden covered the whole Danny Lay and her brother fighting in the bowling alley debacle. Why can't we just have a peaceful Super Bowl weekend? Second of all, people taking sides with the baby is so industry. A man who has fathered a child should be beating up that child's uncle. Oof. We're in 2022. This is a stuff that I wouldn't say is acceptable back in the 80s when I was born, but the culture called for it more back then than it does now. We have enough with social media and pop culture and just being able to access the whole world at large that this shouldn't be a story. People who have no business creating little people create little people. It's the little people who suffer. Now let's add a little bit of a, this is the wrong, brush for this but whatever we're gonna do i don't know what this color is see i would be the best makeup tutorial person because i'd be like pick this color four from the left i have no idea what it's called does it matter what it's called i mean it's easier if you can see so you can follow along with your favorite beauty guru but in my case there's not much to follow along with anyway you know it's so funny i think it looks good and then i film an entire video i should probably get one of those Wi-Fi connectors, but then I'd also have to buy an iPad so it could cast onto the iPad and I could see before I film far away if I look okay. But then I'd have to zoom in on the iPad. I'm trying to draw lines. It's better when the hair is stiff because I can feel that I'm drawing between the hairs or drawing on the hairs versus trying to make something that's not there. Does that make sense? Being visually impaired is kind of like being old faster. Do you give up on the things you love because you can no longer do them and accept it? or do you hold on and find as many ways to adapt even if it feels like you're killing your soul doing it? I know that sounds so dramatic, but sometimes it feels like that. Texting, for example. I can't see my texts unless I zoom in on the screen, which already has long, large fonts. So me reading a text message from a friend feels like so much extra work just to see other days go. So sometimes I just can't respond. Like my eyes hurt physically. They hurt, they're fatigued. 
I can't explain it. Unless you've had eye fatigue, you know what I mean. When your eyes actually hurt, it feels like if you had a muscle ache, it's really weird. So I just don't read messages and then people are like, oh, you didn't respond. Sorry. You know, I've been legally blind since 2016. Or should I be acting accordingly right now and appreciating what I have? It's a constant self-awareness battle. I think taking it one day at a time. Having just enough foresight to look forward and be positive. But what do I know? I can't live life twice. I wish I could live this life two times just so I could come back to this point and tell you, this way is better, this way is better. But I wouldn't want to live this life twice. You know how people say if you could go back and change something in your life? I wouldn't want to have to go back and learn multiplication tables again. It's just too much. You guys don't even know the half of it. I've experienced so much in my life. And when I think about how much I've experienced in the confines of the choices I've made and the options I've been given, I can only imagine if I expanded my mind and I had the awareness to explore more, how many more stories I'd have to share. I was painting my nails for years and years and years. It's weird to say it's a hobby of mine, but that is what it is. And then I realized like I'm painting streaky, uneven. It's more on my hands than it is on my fingernail. It's time to let it go. That's exactly what I mean. Do you do something until the wheels fall off as a visually impaired person? Or do you have the foresight to see what maybe you should invest your time in more realistically? This is the wrong brush. This is a foundation brush, girl. Which I have used for blush once. Would not recommend. I think the number one social advice I'd give for people who are visually impaired is don't let others get to you. Maybe a lot of people who quote unquote care about you but they're really coming at you with the toxic positivity. A lot of people think they know best for you, but trust me, if they were blind for 24 hours the way I am, they wouldn't be able to survive. Only you can write your story and only you know all the details and how you feel. My videos, and I'm gonna edit them plural, cause I got the other video from the other day for Patreon. And then this video that I hope you guys like. I need to stop wearing this sweater in almost every video I film. How's that? Sorry the fridge is rumbling. It just turned on, so I don't want to turn it off for this quick seg with you. So instead, we're just gonna have to grin and bear it. Whisk waiting for my soca people to make a song about whisking matcha. Eh? That song would be so lit. I wanna know, I wanna know. Is this, was this supposed to crater? I showed you last night, but I didn't taste it. Ooh. That's okay. Today's not the perfect matcha, but will be tasty. And there's also extra milk. My grandma did not immigrate to this country for me to waste oat milk, okay? Two people in one week have been really, not forcing me, but urging me. That's the same word. They've been urging me to become a yoga teacher. I love the yoga teacher I had a few years ago. She was so real. She also swore at us. And I don't know why I love that, but I'm just like, well, if I don't pick something, how am I gonna do anything? Which right? is really loud. Maybe I should look into becoming a yoga teacher and then a yoga instructor. I just, I've never had any interest in teaching. People always want me to be a teacher. When I worked in the middle school, oh my gosh, you should go get your B. Ed and become a teacher. I'm good with working with kids, but I hate them. I know you're not supposed to say that, but I hate them. They're little demons. That's the next story time I need to do. If I have time, I'll do that today. But story time's about picnies, aka children. <laughs> Guys. Kids, aka gremlins. I'm sure it's different when you have a kid, but cake flour. Imagine if I put cake flour. I'm gonna read my own labels. I just can tell that this has more letters in it. Blind hack number 57 reading without reading. As I was not saying, because I wasn't really saying anything, I should do a story time about working with kids because it is a trip oh look at that oh my gosh guys are you seeing this funny you know how many times i've either been told that i have more personality and energy on my vlogs than i do in real life or i don't have nearly as much as i do in real life it's like which one is it either i'm more animated here in the virtual world or the people that know me personally see a more animated side. Which one? Pick one. Or me both. Because I'm authentic with Alicia. And this cake is actually really good. I got a slimmer slice this time for part two. Cool.
smoothie I made this morning I put in the fridge when I filmed and I completely forgot about it. Well then, can you tell that this girl does not have it together? Don't worry, next week's video, I'm gonna do a how I get it together video, which is not the same as the 10 things I do when I'm feeling blue because completely different energy. But for now, because we're not trying to rush the future, I'm going to make a little bit of supper, something light, 